Do you like new desire becoming? Do you like it enough that you might be willing to come forth into a physical body, into an environment of contrast for the express purpose of the hatching of new desire? Newer, deeper, fuller, more meaningful. Well, now you put it that way, Abraham. <laughs> Not so much. And yet here you are in these physical bodies. The larger part of you remaining non-physical, do you know that? In other words, there is this source energy part of you who eternally continues to expand because this personality is here sifting through variety and coming to deeper and clearer desires. Because you knew when you made the decision to participate here in this physical format that life would focus you into greater desire. And you so liked that idea because then you remembered that, then you knew. It wasn't a matter of remembering it because then you had not lost sight of it. Then you knew that as new desire hatches, all you got to do is become vibrationally familiar with the new desire and then manifestation follows. Not eventually, quickly. Sometimes as we visit with our physical friends and we know we love you very much, that you are really, we love you very much, deep into the details, we love you very much, of manifestation. We know that the manifestation really matters, and we want manifestation to matter to you. It must be really irritating to hear someone who is non-physically focused continue to draw a big circle in the air and tell you it's the vortex and insist that you go in. It's sort of hard to get your thoughts around that. But the reason that we talk about this vibrational version of you that is expanding constantly because of what you're living is because the vibrational version of you is the larger, forever, eternal version of you to whom you must constantly seek alignment. Because this non-physical version of you is who you really are. So we're going to briefly give you the big picture and then we're going to get right into how you fit into it and the importance of who you are and the importance of the manifestations that you are seeking. In other words, we never want to give you the impression that you are source energy in a physical body just wanting to learn how to be source energy. Because if all you wanted to do was to remember how to be source energy, you would have just stayed source energy with us. You wouldn't have taken all the time and trouble of being born. It's really a pain, you know, <laughs> and not just to your mother. In other words, coming forth into a physical body is a big deal. There's a lot of adjustment because you're born into a vibrational environment that is not pure positive energy like you remembered. That's why you cried a lot, especially at first, and slept a lot, and ignored everyone a lot. They kept saying, come on, come on, give me your attention. And you said, I'd rather not. You're not up to speed with me. And they said, come on, come and play with us. Come on, come and play with us. Come into our denser, darker world. And you said, I'm coming, but don't make me come too soon. Let me remain in this pure positive energy. And we want you to realize that there's no danger, there's no risk in getting out there on the bleeding, bleeding edge. There's, there's no risk in that. It's just that... You are supposed to feel good. You are meant to feel good. Feeling good is who you are, and feeling good is possible under any and all conditions. And when you get that, when you get that you have the ability to hold your thoughts in a position that allows you full alignment with who you really are, then what you will have is the knowledge to control the manifestations of your life. Until then, not so much. What most do... Even those like you who have been listening to us for a while. You look for details in manifestation to which you can have a good feeling response. And there's nothing wrong with that. We encourage it. We've been teaching it for a very long time. But if you need manifestations to perform for you in a way that evokes from you a good feeling response, now you're creating life by default. 
Now you're letting the circumstances, you're letting others, you're letting manifestation dictate your alignment and you want to do it the other way around. You want your alignment to create manifestations and it's different than you have for the most part been playing it. Esther is astonished at how much manifestation has been being searched by her for details to affect the way she feels. In other words, I'll just scrutinize what is for things that feel good and then I'll feel good. And we say, good idea, good idea, good idea. However, don't depend on what is for your good feeling because you can never go beyond what is if that's the case. You're not a regurgitator of what isness. You are a creator of new what isness. So, as you stand in your physical body and you're aware of the buffet that's before you, some things you can look right at and know you prefer them, and some things you can look at and know that you would like it to be better. And have you noticed that if you let yourself believe in your own or global or mass consciousness, personal or bigger expansion, that you cannot stop for a moment thinking of what would be better. Esther's been in the new kitchen in Texas and most things that are in most cupboards have not been there very long because she keeps finding a better place for everything. <laughs> Anyone who's trying to find something that was there yesterday is in trouble because today it's in a new and improved place for a while. In other words, she'll find the place that works perfectly in time, but it's very funny to her that there are so many places for improvement no matter how good something is. You never run out of the desire to expand because you are eternal beings. So this expansion is contained, and that's not an accurate word because it's fluid and flowing, but it is held, that's not really the right word either because it's fluid and flowing, but it's gathered is a better word, it's amassed is a better word, in what we're depicting as a vibrational vortex. And the reason we call it a vortex is because in this attraction power, there's this constant gathering of things that match this desire. We call those the cooperative components. The cooperative components to what you are asking for. Well, vibrationally speaking, that's sort of boring, Abraham. Because I can't see that stuff amassing. I trust you, sort of, but I can't see it, so it's conceptual. It's a theory. Mm, feels a little like fairy dust all over it. I get the idea of it. I believe that vibration precedes everything. But to ask me to believe in a vortex that I can't see, when there's all this manifestation that I can see, oh, Abraham, manifestation is more compelling. Because we could gather together in groups. We can agree on what we see. We can take tests about it. We can accurately acknowledge what it is. Manifestation is meaty. It's seeable, hearable, smellable, tasteable, touchable. It's reality. Abraham, manifestation is reality. We hear you. You talk to us all the time and quite often you're annoyed. <laughs> and we say, it is reality, but it's reality that has spawned and accrued and accumulated and come into your visual, sensual senses because it is a vibrational match to something that you've got chronically going on. And you have to know that because as you move around the planet and you interact with people, you see people living in similar circumstances that are manifesting entirely differently. You see people who everything seems to always go wrong for them and you see people who everything seems to always go right for them and you just got to know there's a vibrational variance that makes the difference in what's happening to you, not just generally, but specifically, moment by moment. So what we're getting at is you could be observing something that isn't something that you want. And as you're observing it, you're taking it in, you're having conversations about it, and in doing so, you're holding your vibration in an even more specific 
place. Because the more attention you give to anything, the more specifically focused you are, and the more specifically focused you are, the faster the energy moves and the faster the manifestation becomes. So you could be looking at this thing, and let's call it, for sake of this analogy, something unwanted, and this is the point we want to make with you. Without even realizing it, your observation of your current financial condition or your physical condition or your relationship condition or whatever it is that you're focusing upon, your attention to it is causing a vibrational response in you which equals your point of attraction. Now, your point of attraction isn't something that's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Your point of attraction is something that's manifesting now, 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 now. So much so that this thought and this conversation that you've got going on is going to cause the next people who walk into your experience to reflect back to you precisely what it is you've got going on. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to how close on the heels of what you're feeling, especially if you're feeling it strongly, the manifestation follows. And then the real fun is to recognize either because the feeling didn't feel good or because the manifestation doesn't feel good. Maybe somebody says something to you that you didn't like, that you didn't think they should have said, that you didn't really believe you had coming, and that most of all, you don't want, you don't ever want to hear it again, but you're hearing it, it's happening, and why is it happening? Is it happening because reality has descended on you? Or is it happening in response to a vibrational stance that you've been practicing that you maybe didn't even know you were practicing until it manifested, but here it is, reality happens. We've seen the bumper stickers. We like this one better. <laughs> Reality happens. So then you say, we want you to say, oh, but I get this stuff. I know that I'm the creator of my own experience. I'm not a regurgitator. I observed that and I had a regurgitating knee-jerk response to it, which I kept practicing because it was really absurd and obscene what happened. And so I told everybody that I saw for a while, do you know what that guy said? Do you know what he said? Do you know what he said? Do you know what he did? Do you know how he made me feel? So you keep it going for a little while, but in all of that, launching, 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 clarifying, vortexing, 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 creating, 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 doing the vibrational precursoring, it's not a word, but write it down anyway, <laughs> to what future manifestations can be depending upon what you do vibrationally. In other words, you've launched the rockets. The potential is there for the new and improved experience. The question is, are you going to keep regurgitating what is, because after all, that guy was really out of line, or are you going to take the bounce and practice, and here are the operative words, practice the less easy vibration, because that's the easy vibration. You just observed it. All of your physical senses told you it was a reality. And if you gathered together with others and went on some of those talk shows, most of the people would agree with you that that person was a misbehaving person and that you are right. But we are wanting to say to you, it doesn't matter how right you are in your negative emotion or in your pushing against, you are depriving yourself of the creation that has been born out of it and you can't feel good until you come along with the new creation because you got to keep up with you. You got to keep up with you. We have adored this interaction. It is delicious to interact with you. We can feel that you are in an entirely different place of understanding. You can feel the power of the vortex and your relationship with it has shifted dramatically. We are eager to observe the manifestational evidence of the vibrational shift that has taken place within you. You now know deliberate creation in a whole new way. And everyone with whom you interact is just going to be this godsend of a reflection of how you're doing vibrationally. It's so nice. Manifestation fast on the heels to let you know where you are. And why would there be such a loving universe that would give you constant feedback about where you are? Because you're supposed to feel good. Because it's right that you feel good. That it's natural that you feel good. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain consistently and insistently with practice beyond verbal description in the vortex. <laughs>